Hello and welcome to a discussion on deferred taxes. In this video, we will discuss how to determine if a book tax difference creates a deferred tax asset or a deferred tax liability. It is important that you view this before class so that we can learn more together in class. This video will explain how to determine the amount of a book tax difference and how to determine if the book tax difference is a deferred tax liability or a deferred tax asset. Let's first discuss what a book tax difference really is and where it comes from. We will use the example of depreciation. The amount of depreciation is computed differently under GAAP and under IRS rules. We will use an example of equipment with a five-year life. The company uses a straight-line method for accounting and reporting. The IRS rules say to use the percents noted on the screen. You should notice the depreciation for books is different than the depreciation for tax. In the first two years, tax is greater. In the last three years, book is greater. This is a temporary difference because after five years, the asset is fully depreciated and the total cumulative depreciation expense is the same. The difference is how much is expense during each year. Comparing the tax depreciation each year to the book depreciation gives the book tax difference. The book tax difference multiplied by the tax rate is the deferred tax liability. The tax deduction is greater, which means that less tax will be paid in the first year. If less tax is paid in the first year, then more tax will have to be paid in future years to get to equal for all years. A deferred tax liability does not become a deferred tax asset when the situation reverses. The deferred tax liability is reduced until it reaches zero at the end of five years. Let's look at the first two years to see how the difference in book and tax depreciation impacts how taxes are recorded. For each year, two columns are used, one for books and one for tax. All revenues and expenses except depreciation expense are the same for books and tax. The income before the depreciation difference is 20000 Subtract the depreciation expense amount for book and for tax to get the taxable income for each and multiply by the tax expense to get the tax expense and the tax payable recorded. The difference between the expense and the payable is the deferred tax liability which is equal to what we computed on the previous schedule. If we were to do the same for three for years three through five, the deferred tax liability would be debited and would have a balance of zero at the end of year five when the asset is fully depreciated. Let's talk more about how to determine if you have a deferred tax liability or a deferred tax asset. Deferred tax occurs when tax expense is different than tax payable. When it is different in the current period because of temporary differences, it will also be different in the future. This is because the two have to be equal at some point in the future. Whether the difference creates an asset or liability is determined by what will happen in the future. What happens in the future will be opposite of what happens in the current period. A liability occurs when more tax is paid in the future than tax expense. An asset occurs when less tax is paid in the future than tax expense. Whether the deferred tax is an asset or a liability is determined in the first year the difference occurs. A difference does not switch back and forth between an asset and a liability. A deferred tax liability occurs when more tax will be paid in the future than tax expense. I am not saying more tax than estimated will be paid in the future. I am saying more tax will be paid than tax expense. This comes about when an expense deduction is greater for tax than for books in the current year. In the future, the tax deduction will be less and the company will have more taxable income and will pay more tax. It also comes about when a company reports less tax revenue than revenue on the income statement. Less tax revenue now makes less taxable income now and less tax to pay now. There will be more tax revenue in the future creating more tax income and more taxes to pay. Less tax payable now 
and more tax payable in the future creates a deferred tax liability. Let's look at an example of a deferred tax liability. Income, for difference, income before differences will always be the same for book and tax. The book tax difference is depreciation expense. In the current year, depreciation expense for tax is greater than depreciation expense for books. This creates a lower taxable income for tax, and tax payable is lower than tax expense in the current year. What happens in the future will always be the opposite of what occurs in the current year. A lower taxable income in the current year results in a higher tax payable in future years. Paying more in the future is a liability. A deferred tax asset occurs when less tax will be paid in the future than tax expense. This comes about when an expense deduction is greater for books than for tax in the current year. In the future, the expense tax deduction will be more and the company will have less taxable income and will pay less tax. It also comes about when a company reports more tax revenue than revenue on the income statement in the current period. More tax revenue now makes more taxable income now and more tax to pay now. There will be less tax revenue in the future, creating less taxable income and less taxes to pay in the future. More tax payable now and less tax payable in the future creates a deferred tax asset. Let's look at an example of a deferred tax asset. Income before differences will always be the same for book and tax. The book tax difference is bad debt expense. In the current year, bad debt expense for tax is lower than bad debt expense for books. This creates a higher taxable income for tax, and tax payable is higher than tax expense in the current year. What happens in the future will always be the opposite of what occurs in the current year. A higher tax payable in the current year results in a lower tax payable in future years. Paying less in the future is an asset. A company with more than one book tax difference cannot net them all together. Whether the difference creates an asset or a liability must be determined by the impact the difference has on income by itself. This company has two differences, an unrealized loss and a prepaid expense. Assume the unrealized loss is the only difference and compare the current year tax expense to tax payable. The loss is not deductible for tax purposes until it is realized. Tax payable is higher now, which means tax payable will be lower in the future when the loss is realized. Paying less in the future is a deferred tax asset. Remember, the future is always opposite of the current year, and the future determines the deferred tax. Now let's assume that the prepaid expense is the only book tax difference. The company deducts more expense for tax than for books, which makes taxable income lower, and the taxes to pay lower in the current year. Lower taxes in the current year will give higher taxes to pay in future years. Paying more taxes in the future is a liability. Now let's look at both together and use our computation and analysis to record the income tax journal entry. We previously had determined that the unrealized loss is a deferred tax asset and the prepaid expense is a deferred tax liability. The two must be recorded separately and are not netted. First, credit tax payable for the amount that is at the bottom of the tax column. This is the amount the IRS requires the company to pay. Second, record the deferred tax asset and the deferred tax liability. The amount is the cumulative book tax difference multiplied by the future tax rate. This is the first year, so the cumulative difference for all years is the same as the difference in the current year. The payable in the expense is multiplied by the tax rate, so the differences must also be multiplied by the tax rate. The last thing that is done is to record tax expense for the amount that balances the journal entry. It will be equal to the amount at the bottom of the book column when the tax rate does not change in the future. 
The amount to tax expense is a plug when the future tax rate changes. This format is always used to determine the accounts and amounts to record for income taxes. There are two columns, one for books, or the income statement, and one for tax, the tax return. It begins with income before differences for the same amount because there is no difference. Expenses and losses are always negative amounts, and revenues and gains are always positive amounts. The tax rate is the current year rate and is the same for both book and tax. The bottom of the tax column is always the tax payable amount, and the bottom of the book column is the tax expense amount if the tax rate for next year is not different. If it is, tax expense is a plug. The amounts for deferred tax accounts are always the cumulative difference multiplied by the future tax rate. After viewing this video, you should be able to determine a book tax difference, identify and quantify a deferred tax liability, and identify and quantify a deferred tax asset. The next video will walk you through an example of how to account for income taxes with more than one difference. You should watch this video again before moving on to the next video because it is really important that you understand how to determine if it's an asset or a liability. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.